What's going on everyone? Physio Trader here. Wanted to do a quick little trade review. Uh, not much. Ended up the day 117 after a small loss on NEO. Um, so markets are really slowing down lately. The volume has just seemed low the last couple days and you know we may just be in for a turning point which that's okay. I'm kind of glad you know from the all of the 2020 COVID craze of stocks, they basically have just been going up, up, up and away. And this is just a good opportunity to kind of, you know, reinforce the idea that stocks don't go straight up every day. And there's going to be red days and those red days are going to start to be more prevalent. The, you know, the stocks are going to start to go sideways and maybe even start to go down while some go up, some go down instead of just the entire market uh, generally going straight up. So, um, like I said, closing out 117, probably just around a hundred dollars after trade commissions. Uh, so, um, I, you know, I, so over here we've got Twitter, which is the one trade I took. And then over here we have Neo, which is the second again, still rocking this double screen. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that I I'm actually getting used to this screen. I do like it. Uh, especially in the first uh, 10, 20 minutes of the day, I still use this one as my primary screen, as my primary order entry window. And I just use this secondary one. You can kind of tell when I click on it, that means this is the side that's more active uh, where my order entry is. If I click over here, uh, down in this order entry window, whatever, it's gonna go here. So I have the level twos that are bright and colored. Uh, I could make these colors the same. I didn't really want to, cause I kind of like the idea of knowing which one is, um, which one is active but anyway enough about the platform quick trades so here i you know my first trade was on twitter uh short sold at 7052 coincidentally it's it's right back there now and um i uh, did a quick cover for 53 bucks just going in 400 share lots nothing big here uh, followed it up a couple more times and ended up getting out for just twenty dollars for the second round which was just 20 shares this thing did end up going up a little bit more and then coincidentally right here, the high was 70.92. I actually had an order for 400 shares at 70.94. Obviously we never went that high, never got filled. The high of the day you can see here was 70.92. That was the top. And then this thing did trickle down um, over a dollar per share, which would have been nice had I had that 400 and you know, nothing would have supported, you know, this is all hindsight to suggest I would have held it for the full dollar move. But either way, that would have been a nice candle to get in on. Um, I was short in here trying to, you know, look for this break. It went up and I figured at this point, this stock has just been a gap up and going up and then it started to reverse around. Um, and then flash forward, I took that one losing trade on NEO. You can see over here, um, NEO, same thing, it was going up. We started putting these lower highs in, uh, started to slightly get some lower lows, uh, took a short, uh, did not want to cover with just a couple cents. So I got in at 65. I didn't want to cover um, at 56, which was the low. And at that point, it would have, um, you know, just been a, I think it was 400 share, no, 200 shares. So I, I lowered my position size. I wasn't that confident in it because these EVs have a way of hurting me. And, you know, just to go to show, um, I, I covered pretty close to the top again. This thing finally did roll over the, the move I wanted. And then I have absolutely no idea what Neo has done since. So, okay, so that trade was there. So this thing has continued to go up, which, you know, further justifies. I did get out. It would have worked had I held and hoped, but had I held throughout this whole thing, I would have been down even worse. And then to flash forward here on uh, Twitter, this thing, I saw it um, have a resistance. This is on the two minute candles. Uh, I saw some resistance at this 50 moving average, took a short, gave a very quick uh, $48 bounce or, or $48 move. And then a couple other times I did end up over trading it here. And let me see, we can pull this in and there you go. So I actually did want to short it one more time just a couple minutes ago, but then decided against it. Just really is kind of chasing the volume is getting really choppy. It's just like a chop house out there right now. And so going to call it a day. 100 bucks, nothing uh, to brag about, but $100 a day will add up. Um, gonna try something where, um, you know, if I make 100 bucks, 200 bucks, I'm just gonna like walk away for the day, uh, stop looking for four, five, six, eight hundred dollars a day. And not that I am, I normally don't have a monetary goal. I find that when there is a monetary goal, then you tend to, you know, trade until you hit that goal. And many times you end up finding trades that don't actually exist. So 
Uh, with that being said, uh, gonna call it a day. Not a big, uh, not a big day. Very happy about the day. Um, played it the way I wanted it to. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please let me know down in the comment section. Uh, like this video, share it with anybody who could benefit from this information, as well as please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.